As you probably know, the index awards have a long history. Uh, uh, they date back to the very beginning of index. Index is more than 40 years old. We'll have, uh, uh, of course, the uh, 20 edition in uh, September next year. The index awards have always been a game changer in uh, awarding excellence and innovation in the ovens. And uh, as you will hear today, uh, they also have an incredible uh, attractiveness in so far as this year, again, we had a very high number of entries, uh, maybe not a record, but uh, as the jury will confirm the quality was there, therefore we are able to award uh, uh, those uh, sculptures that constitute the uh, symbol of those awards to all categories, which is not always the case. In some years, we had to uh, decide not to award a uh, trophy to one of the categories. So it's my pleasure to hand over to the Edana team under the leadership of uh, Natasha and also of our Technical and Scientific Affairs Director, Marina Snakemat. I wish you a lot of excitement. Uh, this suspense will last another few minutes or seconds for the first category, it will be total surprise as the winners have not been informed beforehand. So expect to hear and see a lot of joy from those who will be declared the winners. Thank you very much. Okay, Pierre, thank you very much for the introduction. And it's my pleasure to be uh, your guide through this ceremony today. Um, I'll be primarily be guiding you through the different categories, but um, I would like to first say a word of thanks to our jury, the members of the jury. Um, in random order, I'd like to mention them all five. Mr. Kelvin Woodings, retired consulting editor at WTIN and a long-standing consultant to the non-woven and man-made fiber industry. Melanie Monceau, R&D engineer and project manager at CT. Professor Robert Groten from the Hochschule Niederrhein University of Applied Sciences. He is leading the Department of Textile and Clothing Technology. Uh, Elizabeth Olofsson, a retiree from SEA when SET was still called SEA. And we have Karen McIntyre, the editor of Namovens Industry. These five have done a tremendous job reviewing and judging all the entries. And as Pierre said, there were about 70 entries. So you can imagine this has taken a great deal of work. Um, we have seven categories and we have the People's Prize. Um, I have the pleasure also of introducing the uh, very first category, which is the non-woven raw goods. And then we have a number of uh, nominees. The first one is Famet Jersey, presenting Microfly, a new non-woven for personal care, household filtration and footwear. It's made of ultra-fine polyamide microfibers and produced with patented technology combining an air web former that accounts for the nice profile of the web with a two-step consolidation technology with both mechanical and hydraulic bonding methods. With the application of polyurethane nanoparticles to the PA fibers, the stiffening effect that occurs when fibers get together is prevented, resulting in a strong, dull, soft, non-woven. Our second nominee in this category is Jacob Holm, presenting Sontara Jewel, a substrate for makeup removal and exfoliating wipes. Sontara Jewel is a unique 100% cellulosic wipe substrate made with the proprietary Santara technology. The material combines a rough side with a soft side to achieve extraordinary cleaning results. The textured material easily traps and removes oil and sticky liquids. 
The 3D aperture structure also protects delicate surfaces from scratches and is gentle enough to be used on the skin. And the third nominee in the raw good category is Sandler, with another Saba Soft non-woven in the Saba Soft family. And this is an ADL intake layer. Over the last decades, the core construction of diapers has changed quite considerably, as we all know. And while former ADL structures were designed for guidance and fast intake into the core only, nowadays additional functionalities like fluid distribution, uh, wicking and spreading against gravity, and interim fluid storage capacity are necessary to make the entire construction work. And the winner of this category is Jacob Holm. Joining Jacob Holm's proud legacy of innovation is Santara Dual, a unique 100% cellulose product made possible by proprietary Santara technology. Sustainability is a key focus at Jacob Holm. So when we looked at cleaning products and saw a market dominated by chemical exfoliation, we knew we could offer a better solution. Santara Dual introduces mechanical exfoliation completely free from microplastic contamination. Santara Dual is available in various food safe colors and is Ecotex and biodegradable certified, making it a great choice for consumers who prefer natural products, ideal for both tough and delicate tasks. Jakob Holm is proud to offer transformative, eco-conscious, high-performance products. And now there is room for the winner's speech. Who may I give the floor? Hi, that's Martina from Jakob Holm. <laughs> Martina, Hi. go ahead. <laughs> Hi, I'm the marketing director of Jakob Holm, and I would like to thank you for the award in the name of the full team. Um, we have also here on the line um, with Vinit Singh um, from Altikri, who has um, developed the product um, with his team uh, there. And um, it's for us really a honor to re receive this award, especially because um, innovation is at the heart of how Jakob Holm operates. And in the last two to three years, we have invested a lot to expand our R&D team um, so that we can come up with really good new products for our customers. So thank you very much for this award. And we are really looking forward to see you next year in Geneva. Thank you very much, Martina. Then I'd like to move over to the next category. Category number two, finished products. And in that category, the nominees will be introduced by Professor Robert Roten. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I have the honor to introduce the three nominees for the category two, which is finished products. And we do that in an alphabetical order. We have first the company Kelly with its stamp liner. This is a two in one organic cotton tampon. And uh, it's a tampon with a mini liner introduced, and it's invented by a leading gynecologist. It has a leakage protection, which is improved, and for sure the product is hyperallergenic. The second product I want to introduce is from Dupont de Nemours. It's Tycam 2000 SFR, which is a new chemical protective garment. It has a permeation protection against highly concentrated chemicals, it is flame retardant without any charring. And the last one I want to introduce is the Hassan textile, which is a heatable geosynthetic material. And it's developed to take the advantage of high thermal insulation, heat transfer and energy forming properties. This non-woven can be heated up to more than 700 degrees Celsius at a low energy consumption. And for sure, as a non-woven, it's flexible. And in this case, it's also durable. And the winner of category two is Dupont de Nemours. Let's now understand why Titanium 2000 SFR is so innovative. It is indeed a new garment technology, a new generation of secondary flame-resistant chemical protective garment. 
Its innovation lies in the fact that when the garment is exposed to the flame, the fabric instantly evaporates away from the flame and it doesn't char. It won't ignite, it won't continue to burn after the flame source is removed. Therefore, war over an appropriate primary flame resistant garment such as Nomex, taken to thousand SFR, will not contribute to additional burn injury. In conclusion, thanks to Tycam 2000 SFR, a secondary flame retardant chemical protective garment that you will wear over a primary flame retardant garment, such as Nomex, you will not have to choose between the two hazards of chemical splashes and flash fire. in the name of the company, the Index 2020 Award, and it's so rewarding for the researcher who have invested tremendous amount of energy in this development. So thank you very much. This is encouraging for us to continue to deliver, uh, to develop and continue to deliver products for industrial workers that will protect them during their work. So thank you very much. Thank you, Christine, and congratulations is this um is winning this category um we move over to the third category which is the category raw materials and components and there the nominees will be introduced by natasha de Fesch. yes thank you very much um it's my pleasure to uh, introduce the three nominees of this category so we start with uh, Beaulieu international with the ultra bond fiber this fiber is a unique polyolefin stable fiber that allows the realization of 100% recyclable, sustainable needle punch fabrics for end use such as event carpets, construct flooring, geotextiles and other applications. The fiber eliminates the need for latex and other chemical binders to consolidate non-wovens. The second nominee of this category is the Hassan Group with uh, the Pelsons new product, the biodegradable breathable film for back sheets and hygiene and medical application. Uh, it's made of biodegradable compostable materials and mineral fillers mixed in uh, various processes. Uh, the film is permeable for water vapor molecules, although it's a very good barrier against liquids and it is classified as breathable. And then the last nominee of this category is Omia International with Omia Fiber 800. This fiber uses calcium carbonate in a novel way in PP spun melt and dry laden non-wovens. Due to its high purity and unique surface treatments, it provides significant advantages in both master batch compounding and non-woven production. The Omia fiber is a non-skin irritant nor synthesizing, and it's even food approved. And the winner of this category is Beaulieu International Beaulieu with International, Trabant. With 2,100 employees and 10 plants in Belgium, developed Ultraband, a new fiber solution for the production of 100% recyclable bonded felt. The new chemical solution in Ultraband replaces latex. The production process requires no water at all. Using Ultraband, carpets become fully recyclable since they consist of 100% polypropylene. The production of Ultraband staple fibers is located in Wilsbeke and Kruisem. About 10 million euros has been invested in the fiber department. Innovation helps Beaulieu to differentiate in the highly competitive event market but it can also be applied in other needle felt processes. Beaulieu expects that 60% of the production of the new recyclable ultraband carpets will be used for export within the European Union. That was a nice illustrative video. Is there anybody from Beaulieu? Yes. Yes, Good please. Afternoon. Uh, can you see us? Yes, we can see you, we can hear you. The floor is yours. 
Yes, good afternoon. My name is uh, Maria Teresa Tomazelli. I'm Bellevue Fiber International General Manager, and I'm here with the uh, introducer. Uh, Tim Vroman, R&D Manager. I don't... So Tim Vroman, R&D Manager for the Fiber Division. Yeah, this was uh, actually, uh, f first of all, thank you very much for this award, uh, which is a result of hard job by our R&D team. And that's why it is important that also team is here with us. Uh, what can we say? Uh, uh, till today, uh, Ultrabond uh, uh, is already commercially available and it has uh, been used primarily for uh, event carpet, uh, non-woven uh, non -woven carpet, and we are hardly developing, uh, uh, we are hardly working to develop new application where this uh, fantastic fiber can be used in the future. So thank you very much to everybody, and we look forward to see you all in Geneva. Thank you very much, both of you, for the winner's speech. Um, much appreciated. Um, this is a good moment to move over to category number four, which is innovation in machinery, and the other nominees will be introduced by Karen McIntyre, member of the jury. Um, thank you very much. Um, I am very honored to present this category, um, machinery and equipment. We have three finalists. Um, the first one is Campin Machinery for its new patented air laid beater forming technology. Um, this technology head fills a gap in current forming methods, methods because it can efficiently process, process different types of fiber blends with high fiber length. The technology is also able to process both natural and man-made fibers, as well as blends of fibers. Our second finalist, Dennis Work, um, is being um, honored for its technology called Depth Control Senso Plus, um, which is a depth adjustment tool that ensures the correct nice knife overlap that um, ensures that the correct knife overlap thanks to sensor technology, a LED display, and an integrated knife size identification. Unlike knife holders with a scale ring for adjustment where it is crucial to know how large the diameter of the knife is, sensor control sensor automatically detects each individual knife diameter and reproduces the exact overlap depth. Our final nominee is GDM for its side seam of baby and adult pants products, um, the expandable welding wheel, um, I'm sorry, which is used for the side seam of baby and adult pant products. This innovative solution generates a side seam welding in baby and adult pant type products. And this technology enables the production of an extended number of sizes with the same unit. Um, and the winner is, a GDM. Congratulations to GDM, and whom may I give the floor? Hello. Yeah, Marco. Thank you, Marines, uh, and thank you, everybody. First of all, thank you very much. Uh, and on behalf of GDM and, Co and Coesia, let me take this opportunity to thank uh, Edana Commission of Experts that has recognized our expandable welding wheel solution as the most innovative in the machinery category. And let me also thank the engineering and the R&D team that has worked hard to develop this, uh, uh, this solution for the, for the, history, for the industry. Uh, we, just a few words, we at GDM are very proud to receive this award as it clearly represents our value-generating uh, philosophy. So, and it's particularly relevant as uh, 
Uh, and G at GDM, we are committed to develop a, a solution uh, delivering the highest possible uh, value to our customer and to our uh, and to the industry as a whole. And we believe that uh, the expandable welding wheel has accomplished uh, this task uh, again. So uh, we are also very happy because we are getting used to win this award as this is the third time we win it. So very, very happy. So again, thank you all. And uh, we are always looking forward to meet you at uh, Geneva. Uh, so thank you again. Thank you very much, Michael, for your for your speech. And the fact that GDM has won it for the third time, just see it as a, a good qualification for the, the jury indeed, because they don't look at the history, they only look at what you do today. Uh, congratulations again. And uh, this ends the uh, innovation and machinery uh, category. And we move to category number five, which is about the most original marketing campaign. And that will be introduced by Melanie Monso. Okay, so I'm honored to present the nominee to this category as the most original marketing campaign. So the nominee is very global with a marketing campaign to promote its G clothes biodegradable and compostable wiping solution for the food service sector. This campaign combines digital and offline communication such such as a dedicated website, digital advertising, press release, and editorial articles, samples for end customer. And so the winner is very global. I'm James Taylor from Berry Global, and I'm responsible for product marketing and communications for the specialty segment, which includes wipes and our J-Cloth Biodegradable and Compostable. We're really pleased to be nominated for J-Cloth Biodegradable and Compostable, which is the world's first colour-coded and food contact certified wipe that can be industrially composted. It's suitable for general use and in food service settings. For the marketing campaign, we wanted to get the product in as many people's hands as possible, to show them just how quick and easy it is to use and dispose of. So to do that, we used multiple platforms and a mail campaign, which had the product in the pack to try and get people using the product on site and to see how easy it was to dispose of it. The team also generated videos and online content to try and get people engaged with the topic and to start discussions around biodegradability and compostability and some of the confusion that's in the market today. J-Cloth Biodegradable and Compostable is not only great, easy to use and easy to dispose of, also comes with all the required certifications for peace of mind. So we use PEFC certified fiber and packaging and have it externally certified for the EN norm for industrial compostability. Watch this space for further innovations and product improvements around the sustainability platform as we continue to try and drive towards a circular economy. So congratulations to Barry. And I happen to see that James Taylor is on the call as well. Can I give you the floor, James? Yeah, you can hear me okay? Yes, go ahead. Great. Well, thanks a lot for the award. Um, although we would uh, obviously encourage uh, more courageous marketing campaigns from others in the industry for next year to, uh, to have some competition, but it's, uh, it's great to get the, uh, the recognition, especially for the, everyone through the product development teams uh, for working on this innovation through to the marketing communications team. Uh, to find a creative and innovative way to, to get that out to people and trying to, to spread the message. Obviously, there's, there's still quite a lot of confusion around the, the terminology and the biodegradable and compostability. So I'm sure as an industry, we can help tackle that and uh, make easier the decisions for the consumers and uh, clearer what the options are. So thanks a lot and look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you very much, James. Congratulations, and you made a few very good observations in your winner speech, but let's not elaborate on those uh, right now and continue with the uh, category number six, which is the category for the sustainable products. And that will, of course, and there the nominees, of course, will be introduced by Gilles Stevens. Thank you, Marines. And uh, the many sustainability innovations clearly demonstrate that sustainable development is at the heart of the non-woven industry. I am therefore pleased to announce the nominees for this category. 
Alstrom Monsieur is nominated with a range of not less than three compostable products, the Filter Media Fiber Plus, a compostable lidding filter compatible with most single-serve espresso coffee capsules, and a compostable key cup filter. Secondly, Beaulieu Flooring Solutions has invented a latex-free event carpet. Rewind, as the new carpet is called, is a 100% polypropylene product with a favorable carbon footprint. And finally, Hijet is a new agricultural crop cover developed by RKW. The crop cover is very strong and tear resistant and is a hydro entangled spun bond non woven. And the winner is Alstrom. Good morning, everybody. I'm Gian Maria Pavan, responsible for the beverage business in Alstrom Austria. These systems are changing the way we prepare our coffee. The drawback of this is that uh, single serve solutions like the one that uh, I'm holding in my hand produce some waste and we are struggling as today to deal with this waste. In Alstom we create a sustainable approach by substituting uh, the living material with uh, a renewable compostable solution that uh, allowed us to have a, a perfect coffee without polluting our world. Thanks for the award in the sustainable category product. Congratulations to Alström. And here my question is, who may we give the floor for the winner's speech? So good morning, everybody. I'm the same guy, same guy of the of the video, Jamaria Pavan. Ah, Jamaria. Uh, floor is yes. yours. Thank you. Thank you really for uh, for this award. And as you can imagine, uh, came up uh, uh, with a complete product portfolio. Uh, tackling the most common single source so solution to make them compostable what was not easy at all. And basically, it was not possible without the effort of our uh, incredible team. And uh, this, these people are, uh, you know, they're working like uh, uh, behind the scene, uh, hard every day. So this is the perfect occasion for me to give the chance uh, to the person that uh, you know, especially follow, for example, the, the compostable lid uh, that is compatible with the, the Nespresso type of capsule, uh, the project leader for this uh, for this product, uh, give the chance uh, to her uh, to express a few words on the work that uh, she, she, she's, she's still doing with her team. So let me introduce to you, my pleasure to introduce to you, Madame Florence Vidal, working in our research center. Please, Florence. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John Maria. So thank you to give me the opportunity to have uh, some words. And uh, I will say uh, thanks to all the team because it's uh, really a, a teamwork for not only the R&D, but also the plant and the, and the sales team. So as John Maria said, we are still working on that, uh, on that topic. We want to improve it, uh, to, to give it uh, some more uh, features. So the, still, the work is still uh, going on. So thank you for the award. We we re really appreciate and share it with, uh, with the team, and they will also be very be very happy for that. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Jan Maria and Florence, for this uh, duo speech. Much appreciated. Also the kind words to the team behind the scenes. Um, that brings us to the category number seven not a sustainable product, but this is about the sustainable process or management practice. And here the nominees will be introduced by Mr. Kelvin Woodings, also a member of the jury. Kelvin, the floor is yours. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> the nominees for the best sustainable process or management practice are firstly the Pure Flow 8 material separator from the Diaper Recycling Technology Company. And this is the latest version of their recycling machine for converting diapers rejected by an online quality control process 
back into superabsorbent pulp and plastic streams for reuse. Secondly, the Fata Smart recycling technology, on the other hand, works with any used absorbent hygiene products and converts a ton of soiled waste into 150 kilograms of dry pulp, 75 kilograms of dry plastic, and 75 kilograms of dry superabsorbent. The process is carbon negative and economically self-sustainable. And finally, the Tulips optical scanning system from Thai Hive uses miniature cameras to measure grammage, thickness, moisture content at any stage in a non-woven's production process. <clears throat> And this process uses visible light rather than X-ray illumination and is therefore much safer for the operatives. And the winner of category seven is Farta Smart. Hello. My name is Giovanni Torani Fabri and I'm the general manager of Father Smart. Did you know that every year, worldwide, 30 million tons of used diapers are either sent to landfill or incinerated? And did you know that here at Father Smart we invented a unique to the world technology that is able to completely recycle used diapers and to transform them into plastic, cellulose and superabsorbent polymer, giving them new life? Our technology is, is completely carbon negative, so it helps reducing CO2 emissions. It's replicable all over the world and is self-sustainable, i.e. it doesn't need economic incentives in order to operate and to be efficient. It's a unique win for the citizens, for municipalities, for waste operators, for the environment, for the industry, all in line with circular economic principles. Big congratulations to Vater for the, being the winner in this category. And I see Mr. Fabri already yeah. ready for the winner speech. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's uh, an honor to accept uh, the award uh, on behalf uh, of, uh, of my team that uh, unfortunately at the moment uh, is on the ground, uh, so not able to join. I think we have Ricardo Calvi on the line, that is our uh, communications director. Uh, and uh, I really like to thank you, uh, to thank uh, the, the DANA uh, Technical Commission. I think uh, that our project uh, is something that, uh, well, we as a company are very proud of, uh, but I think that also all of us as a category should be proud of, because uh, I think that uh, we are a joint venture, as you may know, between uh, Procter and Gamble uh, and Angelini, and uh, in Italy uh, at least uh, we are the market leader uh, in the uh, in the in the AHP production, and I think that ours is a unique example uh, where uh, we can demonstrate uh, that uh, categories, consumer categories, can successfully take care of uh, the end of life of uh, of their products. And uh, I think this is. Uh, I heard somebody saying that uh, or mentioning uh, referring to the history of uh, the uh, the sustainable solutions. Uh, that uh, that uh, we brought to the market uh, or brought to life as a category. And I think that uh, ours is uh, just another example of uh, what we can do for the for the environment uh, again as a category. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Giovanni, for this uh, speech. Um, and this brings us to the end of the seven regular categories. Um, but we have another category to go, which is the People's Prize. And that is going to be introduced by, I think, by Magali or Helen. Yes. So thank you, Maria Ines. I'm Magali Fakri, the director of Index. I'm here today to award the People's Prize, which, as you know, is awarded to the video with the greatest number of likes on the Index on One's LinkedIn page. We thank you very much, all of you, for your very interesting project. The response to your videos on LinkedIn was very good. We had thousands of views. And after nearly three weeks, the final vote for the winner was very close. 
I'm therefore very pleased and honored to announce on behalf of EDA9 Index that the winner of the first Index People Prize is Omiya. So congratulations, Omiya, being the winner of the first People's Prize. I think I saw two people from Omiya in the uh, in the audience. Is there any of you who I may give the floor? Yes, this, this is Martin uh, Brunner speaking. Go ahead. Uh, thank you very much. We are very pleased to, to win this uh, People's Prize of the LinkedIn voting. It was really a hard fight between several nominees with all having over 400 likes at the end. Finally, we are the lucky winner. There was some work behind to produce this great video, but also to hunting for the votes. I would like to say a big thank you to the whole team involved, especially the business development and marketing communication team of Omnia. And here I would like to mention Mirella, TJ and, and Christoph for their work. A big thank you goes also to Adana for organizing this online voting and the celebration event. Over 6,000 people meanwhile saw our video. This means a lot of publicity was created for our new in innovation. We are very happy to, to be part of this online event. We're looking forward to, to see you all uh, next year in, in Geneva. Many thanks. Many thanks to you, Martin, for this uh, nice speech. And that actually brings us to the end of the, uh, the ceremony. But before we, uh, we really end the session, I would like to express a sincere word of thanks to, first of all, all companies that have submitted their innovations. Without all these submissions, there wouldn't be a ceremony like this. Next, the members of the jury. I've mentioned them all five, but one more big thanks to all of you for the diligent and outstanding work, because I know how much time it took you. But finally, I also would like to thank you, the audience, who is attending the ceremony today. Thank you very much for your interest and your time. And with a last round of virtual applause for the winners of the Innovation Awards, um, I would like to close the session. Thank you very much.